Hey guys, Philosopher here, and today I have my best war defense teams video for the month of February 2022. Yes, I know it's March 1st or March 2nd when you're seeing this. Uh, this a little bit late. I was on a business trip, uh, and so I had to do a lot of recording on my uh, iPad. Uh, I'm back home. I figured I wouldn't subject you to this on the iPad. Uh, we're going to talk uh, about what I've seen over the last month and how much the meta has changed. And I want to start right with the Young Avengers because, I, as I told you guys, this team is not how it was billed to me by the devs. The devs really convinced me in the conversations that we had with them as envoys that this team would basically beat everything other than Weapon X. That is not true. I mean, you could beat the team with X Factor plus Zemo, for example. Uh, people are using, there's other teams out there that also can beat Young Avengers. But, 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 the team scales very well with gear. And I imagine with ISO. In other words, when we get to level five blue ISO, like watch out. The team has a lot of sustainability and a lot of healing and takes a lot of energy and turns and stuff. So as it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, it's very difficult to defeat. You probably saw this in Avengers Tower where those teams are even bigger. So I think if I took this team to gear tier 16, it would be even more crazy. Um, and when you do have like a 1 million or a 1.1 million Young Avenger team in war, they perform much better than what you're, you're probably seeing now. So where does it on the list? Well, I have my tier list linked below in the description. I'm going to walk through it now and talk about where teams slot in. And you'll see here, I have Young Avengers here at the bottom. And I originally had them below the New Warriors, and my thought process was that this team with Emma and Surfer is really strong and requires Shadowland to beat it and is, you know, usually, and you need to have Hanger up and everything. And so it's a pretty tough team to beat. But now there have been a, a few new teams that have come out that do beat the New Warriors. And so I think, you know, it, it makes sense to have Young Avengers here. Like I say, the ranking should change. And maybe I'll put here much um, needs to be very big to be to ju uh, for this ranking. So this is a team that scales very well with gear. It's basically a whale kraken sort of war defense team. Well, most war defense teams are, but you know, Heroes for Hire was a team that to me was much more friendly to a free-to-play player or a dolphin in to the extent that you could have a low investment in the team and get some value out of it, right? Even if you had them at gear 12, they were going to require some sort of response. Young Avengers is a team that not so great at those kind of gear levels, but does scale up. Now, let's just walk through some of the other changes here. I do think Dormammu with the Eternals, with two other characters, depending on the, you know what you want to put with them, is still the best team out there. <clears throat> you know, at the very least, it's going to draw something like a Weapon X or some other highly specialized super team. That's a pretty fantastic result. And until uh, Dormammu, there becomes more counters that can one-shot him and it becomes more common, I think you're going to keep seeing Dormammu on defense, which is where I see it at the level I'm at. I see Dormammu... You know, we pretty regularly face enemies that have, you know, at least one or more Dormammus now. <clears throat> but this is a new team on the list. The Eternals plus America Chavez plus a fourth and fifth. In you know, the, the reason for this, the reason that that team is strong is because America Chavez has in her passive this line on war defense, on spawn, fill speed bar by 25% for adjacent allies. That is not... Um, you know, limited to the Young Avenger team. And the devs knew about that beforehand. It was raised to them. Envoys raised this issue to them, got no response. <clears throat> but this is raised and put on the devs' radar. They were fine with this. So what, what does that mean? Well, people are, you could imagine, Eternals are pretty good. Uh, they're even better when they get to go first, right? And so if you put America Chavez in between them or, you know, with one of them next to them and a different character, I mean, you can really supercharge that team. And so you're seeing kind of super teams evolve where they put, you know, somebody, if you have not built up your young Avengers, <clears throat> you know, throwing America Chavez into this team can make him really great. 
you could always put in Miles or somebody else with the Young Avengers and leave out America Chavez, for example, and uh, you know use her separately here as well. So that's definitely an option. Is that what I see at high levels? No, it's not. Uh, generally, what I'm seeing is the full Young Avenger team because you know I'm facing a lot of teams that have you know uh, people who have one million, one point one million Young Avengers, that sort of thing, uh, like I have myself. But I have faced this team. It is it is that good. But obviously, you know, it, it weakens, you know, this team and the Eternals with other characters are still awfully good. OK. So why why do I have Heroes for Hire and Weapon X, Infinity Watch here? Because to me, these teams still require the same kind of level of counter. I mean, I don't really see dramatically different counters here. All of the same kind of tier of characters are used to counter a lot of these same teams. It's just at the bottom end here, and they, they, they really could be their own tier, the Young Avengers or the New Warriors MS Surfer. There are some other options. Okay, Shadowland can't beat this team, for example, and other teams, you, know, you know, even with the MN Surfer there. Young Avengers do have that X Factor Zemo option whereas these other teams have fewer ones. But, of course, there are definitely multiple options against a lot of the other teams on this list. Heroes for Hire, to me, you know, they, they are very heavily countered by Weapon X, but you're, you're probably going to be running Weapon X against them because Infinity Watch is not 100% reliable, particularly when the Heroes for Hire are big. So this is these are the really strong defenses in the game. Obviously, obviously, you can't you don't most people are not going to have many of these and a lot of them have used the same characters right the eternals can only be in one place at a time i get comments sometimes from you guys saying well, wait philosopher just tell me what to run okay just tell me what characters to put down it doesn't work that way it depends on what you have built up on your team which is me on your roster and it, it depends on what your you know what kind of opponent you're facing and everything else what you want to do is take a list like this, which of course is based on what I'm seeing at a level where everyone has everything built up, and apply it to your roster and your situation. For you, you may not have a, a Young Avengers team built up. So for you, building one character, America Chavez, might be good. And she doesn't even to be that built up, right? She could just be there solely for her passive on spawn. Um, that may be valuable for your roster and your situation. The point is to take these this tier list and adapt it to your situation, okay? Uh, what are some of the other changes here? For the most part, this list looks a lot like last month. You're still seeing a lot of the same, you know, it, when we kind of drop a tier down here, you know, Brotherhood, Deathpool, Doom, and the Merc Doom teams, you know, these other Merc hybrid teams, these are all still very popular. Um this team is less so because it, it does break up two full teams, at least at my level now. I don't see it where people gener generally have Uncanny Plus Magic and the Axemen separately. But here's the Web Warriors. So now <clears throat> this is another one. Um, you know, I'll just say I'm going to put here too. Scale very, you know, or I'll, I'll just say here needs to be very big for this ranking. You know, the, if you're, if the Web Warriors are small they are going to be way lower on this list okay even before the buffs supernatural could beat web warriors <laughs> you know if, if the, even back when i had them as a tier five six seven offense wherever they were they could beat web warriors if they were small once web warriors get to be huge get to be one million plus they justify this ranking at this level where you need to use something like uncanny plus magic or, um, you know, a hybrid with brotherhood or something else to beat the web warriors. OK, something that's that, um, you know, can negate that dodge mechanic. The, the dark hunters right now, before we get Morbius work, there's a number of teams that work well. But, you know, the bottom line uh, is that they are a strong, uh, stronger defense than they originally seemed. Otherwise. Um, you're, you know, you're starting. These are the, these are to me at my level. At least these are the defenses that draw, um, that draw actual defense wins. So, you know, whether it's a Dormammu or some other Eternals team, or the Infinity Watch, you know, these Doom, very specialized Doom hybrids, 
<clears throat> the new Warriors team, those are the teams that draw defense wins. And then we kind of, to here, this is more or less the filler teams. I keep, I don't see these teams much at my level anymore uh, b because more folks have Dormammu and some of these other teams. But they do, they are still, or they'll use it with Doom with Mercs. But I leave them in there just to show you at your level how they might perform. Th these are still reasonable options. If you have Doom with something else, he's just going to lose to Symbiotes. Uh, and then here, Uncanny Magic is good on defense or offense. It's a real swing team that's very valuable both ways. I've done both. Uh, Inhumans plus Surfer Colson. The Inhumans here, of course, are Black Bolt, Yo Yo, and Crystal. Those are the three, quote, good, unquote, humans. Uh, I leave this here just for those of you who still don't have Omega Red after the the second pass. Uh, this I only know just because before Omega Red entered the game, this is about where it was. I ha I am considering moving Black Order even further down. It does scale fairly well with gear, but, you know, mo for the most part, this team is it, it's probably better on defense now, and it's starting to really feel the effect of power creep. But it's, I think it's better than some of these teams here. I mean, Secret Avengers, to me, very bad use of the team. This just can draw symbiotes or Axemen. Axemen, I think, are better on offense um, as well. Very easy, I think, if you, to beat on the AI side. The other Doom defenses also just lose. If you don't have something like um, Colossus or uh, the Magneto that's going to prevent the symbiotes from beating your team, pretty much the symbiotes are going to beat every Doom team because of the Doom bots that get spawned that generate speed bar for the symbiotes. Um, you know, uh, then here, you know, this is Marauder. If you don't have the uh, Weapon X team built up, you can throw Sabretooth in with the full Marauders and they're better since Sabretooth got uh, buffed. And then this is uh, Mercenaries with Korath and Ultimus. What this does, Ultimus prevents a counter from uh, Skill Military because he gets a lot of bonuses when an opposing character gets taunt, so he erases Red Guardian. And then we have just, this is just pure filler sort of stuff. Wave 1 Avengers is filler. And Mercs with Killmonger and Shuri just get beaten by Skill Military. Um you know, which, by the way, I don't see much. I guess I should actually add skill military somewhere on this because we actually <coughs> throw that on defense sometimes. You know, they're probably in this range. You know, we don't even use skill military much in my level on offense anymore. It's just not all that useful. It's really fallen down for us, but it may be useful at your level still, depending on where you're at, and you know, if what depending on what you have built up. Um, you know, but if you're seeing this, if this is the kind of mercs you're seeing, skill military is going to be great. At my level, I see a lot of this or merc mercenaries with doom, and then you need another team other than skill military to beat them. Skill military does well against any sort of villain. Well, not any, but against certain types of villain teams, they do uh, decently well against the marauders and so forth as well. <laughs> Hydra plus Zemo, definitely better on offense, but it can require a certain type of counter on defense. And then the rest of this is, you know, this is just Sinister Six, Wave One, without Black Widow, where you use Coulson or, or um, Captain Marvel, Fantastic Four, Marauders without Emma Frost. We're just getting into the dredges here. So this is sort of how the the meta looks. I mean, right now the meta revolves a lot around, you know, still Heroes for Hire's presence is felt. They this draws Weapon X for now until the Dark Hunters come out. Once the Dark Hunters come out, uh, a full team, Morbius, if they do, if the devs are, are telling us the truth about this team and they do counter Heroes for Hire, I expect that to be the case based on the kits, but if, if that is in fact the case, then that frees up your Weapon X to use against Dormammu or the Eternals uh, teams or so forth, but that still means you're going to have to deal with whether Infinity Watch is on defense or New Warriors or you know some other doom team there will be other teams that you'll that will be used to try to throw off uh an opposing team but that's basically what the top end of the war defense meta looks like right now uh, as we go uh as we leave the month of february that's what i'm seeing um and i think we're going to see even more of a shake up once we get morbius uh in the game but this is a pre-morbius look at what i'm seeing on war defense all right, guys, if you like that video, smash that like button. 
subscribe to this channel if you got comments questions cheers cheers put them below or go to my discord which is linked below you can also go to my twitch stream that is linked below too